Thank you for watching News Center 23. I'm Amber Downing. A Mexican citizen who lives in Brownsville pleaded guilty to his involvement in an international money laundering scheme. Diana Castaneda confessed to buying votes in the November 2012 election. Now, this is a partial government shutdown, meaning some agencies won't be affected and some will only be affected a little bit. For instance, federal courts will stay open for 10 days without a compromise and Customs and Border Protection will be affected in small ways as well. A commander with the Sheriff's Office says the Hidalgo County jail is too full and taxpayers are footing the bill. Plus four Cameron County officials are indicted on various charges today, some related to corruption. Don't go anywhere. New Center 23 at 5 is next. A Northeast El Paso family is thankful for their lives tonight, but they will have to find a new place to stay. They're fed up with flying trash and tonight they're pointing the finger at a Northeast El Paso recycling plant. And officials aren't too optimistic the water owed will actually carry over into the 2015-2020 cycle. Since the ballpark opened, you see a lot more of this. Downtown businesses locking up their parking lots as those spaces become a precious commodity. Out of a dozen hopeful candidates looking to fill the spot left by Lupe Trevino, Hidalgo County Commissioners are expected to announce the interim sheriff tomorrow morning. U.S. Customs and Border Protection plans to hire thousands of officers across the country. New Center 23's Marty Watson reports many will come to the valley. This isn't unprecedented here. During Storm 2006, more than 3,000 graves sunk here. On Friday, she noticed him again following her down East Elizabeth Street. Police say when she told him to stop, he pulled a knife on her. TxDOT officials now say it's going to take them six hours to clean up this accident. After this latest blow, the question is, will they continue? Well, we've had ups and downs this week, but hopefully our weekend will turn out nice. Our chief meteorologist Robert Bettis joins us now with a look at our weekend forecast. Hi, Robert. Hi there, Amber. Well, you can't keep the valley down. Nope. Especially temperature wise. temperature wise. Authorities near Carrizo Springs, Texas, say they found undocumented immigrants held against their will and tortured. Dimmit County Sheriff Marion Boyd says six undocumented workers were held captive for at least a week and were scared for their lives. He calls it the best view in town. It's here at the Weiler Aerial Tramway that Umberto Quinones started working in 1970. A lot of grease. A lot of oiling. This is our master control. He started as a mechanic and quickly moved up to manager. I didn't think that I was going to last long, really, to tell you the truth, you know. But he did. I've seen a lot of changes, especially over the city in the 44 years that I've been here. A problem with insurance prices closed the park to the public for years. But still, this tram man worked here. There were developments in towers and roads, yet here he stayed. And one thing never changed. You know, I never got tired of the view. Neither did the visitors. A good 98% of them have come down and, and they, I can see the satisfaction on their face that they got uh, a beautiful view from the top of the uh, Ranger Peak. A couple of years ago, budget cuts forced the park closed all but Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. The guests kept coming anyway. I have a big collection of friends and in that respect that I feel like I'm a very rich person. A life dedicated to traveling this tramway. It's been a great ride. It's been a great ride and I, you know, if, if I was to li relive my life all over again, I think that I would still take it over again. A life well traveled. The new home for the AAA baseball team could be haunted. This area that's seen much attention in downtown El Paso was El Paso's Campo Santo, one of the oldest cemeteries in the city. The experts, the archaeologists, the anthropologists, are um, they're convinced that that was a cemetery, probably 1830s, 1840s, uh, perhaps maybe into the early 1850s. Bernie Sargent makes El Paso's history, his business, and pleasure. You now you've got the Presidio. He's the chairman of the El Paso County Historical Commission. Roughly speaking, it's called a, a spirits park or spirits camp where the spirits are buried. This is what Sargent believes is Campo Santo or spirits camp seen in this picture from 1882 at the bottom left. Workers from the nearby Ponce Ranch were buried here during the 1830s and 40s. Ponce's Rancho was located roughly where the um, uh, Camino Real is, in that area. And the first burials that we have heard of 
uh, are going to be what we consider the uh, Campo Santo, which is where the baseball stadium is being built. The city grew, and many of the cemeteries in what's now downtown El Paso were pushed to the outer limits of the city. The remains were consolidated and moved to Cleveland Square, Concordia, and Evergreen cemeteries. And it was all shuffled around. They dug up some of the bodies. They did move all the tombstones that were there or the markers that they had. Uh, we don't know for sure if they took all the bodies. So we may have a haunted baseball park. After City Hall was knocked down and construction on the ballpark began, what if the workers found bodies, coffins? The city of El Paso says nothing, and Sargent says he believes it. The only thing that they might be able to find would maybe belt buckles or buttons or things like that that were made of metal. But as far as the remains of the bodies themselves, it's highly unlikely they would find anything. No bones, no bones about it. It's possible that workers would see discolorations in the soil, he says, but probably they wouldn't know what they were looking at. That's history now. You know, they've just totally disturbed that area. There's no way they're going to find anything now. So between the big plays by the Chihuahuas baseball team, in between cracking peanuts and crunching Cracker Jacks, if you hear a spooky sound, you'll know it's the workers from Ponce's Ranch root, root, rooting for the home team.